Good morning. Here I am back in the Black Mountains, but this time I'm right at the northern tip of the range, right up in the northeastern corner of the Brecon Beacons National Park. And today I'm going to be doing two peaks on my hike, starting with Hay Bluff, which is right over my left shoulder, heading on down the ridge from there, dropping into Gospel Pass before returning to the ridge um, and then to the second peak of the day, which is known as Tumpa in Welsh or Lord Hereford's Knob in English. I'll then be dropping down into the valley and then joining a small country road that's going to lead me right the way back to the car, which is right behind me there. Today the planned route is about 5.4 miles or 8.7 kilometres. Um, the weather's incredible as you can see. It's cold, it's only a couple of degrees above zero. Um, but the views are going to be absolutely stunning. They're already pretty amazing out to the west and southwest across uh, the National Park. So as always, I'll keep you up to speed with, uh, with things as we progress. So after a pretty steep climb up from the car park, here I am at the summit of Hay Bluff at 677 meters above sea level. And as I thought, the views are pretty fantastic in every direction. So now it's just a, a nice flat ridge walk in the direction of peak number two, Tumpa. I'll talk to you over there. From the, from the summit of Hay Bluff, it's just a nice gentle path that pretty much hugs the, the ridge of the plateau. And uh, off to your right hand side, as you can see, is just, well, beautiful views if you've picked a, a good day to come. And uh, eventually the path starts to, des to descend and uh, so I'll just swing around now and show you. This is where we drop down into Gospel Pass, the road that runs through the gap between the two peaks. And from there, we're going to head back up the uh, the other side um, onto the next uh, summit, which is uh, Tumpa. We'll see you on the way up. After leaving Gospel Pass, the, uh, the path starts to climb very gradually up the hillside. And it's very well made path underfoot sort of grit, grit and gravel, so it's fairly easy going and as I say, it is just a gradual climb, which is very pleasant indeed. And uh, now you can look back and uh, see the Hay Bluff Plateau that we've left behind. And uh, just in a few minutes we should be at the summit of Tumpa. See you there. Okay, here I am at the summit of Tumpa, or Lord Hereford's Knob most exciting of cairns behind me or trig points but um, this is definitely the, uh, the summit. Beautiful views all around once more and uh, looking back over my left shoulder that's where we've come from, Hay Bluff Plateau and now I'm heading on just a short distance along the ridge before breaking off down the hillside uh, back into the valley. So uh, on we go. After you leave the summit of Tumpa, which is right back behind me there, you just continue along the path following the line of the ridge until you get to this little sort of rocky formation just here over my left shoulder. And at this point, the path breaks away back to your right. Easily missed, but thankfully my outdoor active hiking app shows me exactly where I am which is really really handy and 
Now we drop down into the valley and check out these views. Not bad. When you drop back down into the valley, you're walking through sort of open moorland, beds of ferns everywhere, as you can see all around me. And uh, it's not always that obvious where the path is that you should be following. So I've got my Outdoor Active app uh, loaded and with the grid lines clearly displayed, it's just a case of keeping the little blue dot on the grid line and uh, you stick to your track and it makes it really, really handy. Um, not only when it's just difficult in indistinct pathways, but also if you get stuck in uh, you know, a situation where visibility drops. So uh, yeah, very, very handy. Anyway, we should be back at the, uh, the little road very shortly, um, which will lead us back to the car park. Okay, we've been walking back through the valley for some time now, and uh, this is the point at which we meet the little country road. So finally some nice solid ground underfoot. So at this point, we just turn right and continue back to the car park. Okay, I'm just coming to the end of the uh, Hay Bluff and Tumper circular route. Um, it's taken just a little under three hours and it's been a really, really pleasant walk. Um, difficulty wise, um, moderately difficult at worst, I would say. Um, after the initial climb to the summit of Hay Bluff, it's nothing too taxing at all. It's just a beautiful ridge walk with cracking views off to the west and southwest. The climb to the summit of Tumpa is gradual, so again, nothing too taxing. Um, the descent back into the valley um, was, is quite slippery, um, quite boggy in places, so just be a little bit mindful there. And um, as I said earlier, sometimes it's quite difficult to work out where the actual trail is, especially when you drop into the valley. So the use of a hiking app uh, or a GPS could come in really handy. Um, following that, you join the little country road, which I'm on right now, and uh, you can just enjoy the beautiful views all around you while you make your way back to the starting point. So another great little walk from the Black Mountains in northeast um, Brecon Beacons National Park. So until next time from the Roaming Spices, Take it easy.